smack it. Slap it. Spank the mint. Yes, you, you gotta do have slap to spank. it. Hey guys, my name is John Yeager. And I'm Linda Yeager. And if you weren't aware, the Kentucky Derby is this weekend. It's famous for big hats and big pours. Specifically, the booze-filled bombshell that is the mint julep. So if you're wondering what a mint julep is and why do we drink it, well, we are here to answer it. The Kentucky Derby is a, by far the most famous horse race in America, but we've got some wild secrets behind its signature cocktail, the mint julep. The traditional mint julep, the thing that we have pictured in our mind, is actually very basic. It's just bourbon with mint and sugar. We're gonna get seven to 10 uh, fresh mint leaves and we're gonna put that in your cocktail shaking tin. You're then gonna put a half ounce of simple syrup and then we're gonna muddle. Um, if you guys are making this at home, something to consider is, you always see bartenders muddling a lot and putting their muscle into it. Herbs don't need that. They release their oils, which is the reason that we're muddling, very easily. That's right, you'll start to smell that mint. When you feel so fresh and so clean, then you know you're ready to move on to the next step. That's right. After that, we're gonna add three ounces of bourbon and then we're gonna strain that over crushed ice. One of the things that we love about the mint julep is this is the first iconic American cocktail. The word julep, though, goes back almost a millennia and that is just a very fancy term for an herb with sugar with a little alcohol and it was used as medicine. Each year about 120,000 juleps are served at Churchill Downs over the two days of the Kentucky Derby. The Derby is also known for its amazing fashion. Fun hats. Sometimes the hats are extravagant. Mm -hmm. This right here is called a fascinator. Adorable. Yes. Right? You can put a bird on it. You can put pretty much anything you want on it and it is acceptable and fun. But you can't have a Kentucky Derby without the drink. We've got ice in our shaker already. You want to get it going. Three seconds of a hard shake. Yeah, we don't want to shake this shake drink too much. Not too much. You don't, you don't want to dilute it too much. You're going to strain everything. Hold that mint that you muddled in the shaking tin. So you'll mm. strain over fresh ice. And last but not least, you want your garnish. But what you have to remember yes. about the mint is there is no point in doing it. Let's take this big one right here. There is no point unless you smack it. Slap it. Spank the mint. Yes, you, you do have slap to slap it. Yes. You gotta release those oils. It smells so good. That's right. And, and when she does that, there. I can smell it over here. She's released those oils. It's in the air. All right, and there you have Kentucky Derby Mint Julep. All right. Oh. That is so good. Thank you. All right, now this is a traditional mint julep. If you were to go to a bar or a restaurant and you order it, if you go to the Kentucky Derby itself, this is what you're going to get, but I have a secret for you. What you may not know is what came before that. It is called the prescription julep. This is what they were drinking before that bourbon-based drink took hold at the Kentucky Derby. The Kentucky Derby got its inspiration from what's called the Epsom Derby in England, which has been running since 1780. The Derby there was all about high-end, aristocratic, wealthy, rich, and the rich were able to afford the good stuff, otherwise known as cognac. So I've already got my mint muddled. Same process as the regular julep. You want a handful of mint leaves and you want to muddle that in a half ounce of simple syrup. We've already done that. It smells like a spa here, so we know we're ready. <laughs> then we're going to do three ounces of your cognac. Mm -hmm. You want to just give it a quick shake, make it cold, and you're done. You're going to strain it over fresh ice. We're talking like snow cone ice. You want it, at the very least, crushed. All right, I've already slapped there. that mint, and we're gonna get that in as a garnish. And again, one of the things that makes this drink what I feel superior, and it's the secret that you need to pull on your friends at home, is traditionally, for hundreds of years, it would not just live as this. They would top the drink with either a good Barbados or Jamaican rum, or sherry, port or Madeira, a fortified wine from Europe. This is the prescription julep. This is what doctors ordered back in the day. We didn't make the term up prescription julep. This is literally what it was called. 
So now we have two delicious juleps that will up your game for sure. 100%. Yes. Thank you so much for joining us. Enjoy. Cheers. Cheers. And cheers to you. <laughs> Yep, I'm still here, just waiting for you to subscribe. If you don't, I'll be trapped in this box forever. Help.